Ever woken up wondering, what was that dream? One minute, you're in Los Angeles, winning an award for best pizza eater, and the next, you're being chased by a giant talking duck. Why does our brain turn into a Hollywood director every night? Back in 1953, sleep researchers Nathaniel Kleitman and Eugen Azarinsky discovered REM, rapid eye movement, sleep, where dreams are most vivid. Some scientists say dreams help us process emotions, while others think they're just your brain throwing a random late-night party. Either way, your mind loves mixing up reality, because why wouldn't you need to solve math problems on the moon? So, grab your imaginary popcorn, because we're diving into the bizarre, mysterious, and hilarious world of dreams. Spoiler alert, it's going to be a wild ride. Welcome to Dreamland, where logic takes a vacation. Ever had a dream where you're skydiving in New York, holding a giant cupcake, while a talking dog cheers you on? Yep, dreams are weird. But why do we have them? Are they secret messages, brain junk, or just a midnight comedy show? In 1953, scientists Nathaniel Kleitman and Eugen S. Rinsky discovered random sleep, the stage where dreams happen. Some say dreams help us process emotions, others believe they're random nonsense. Either way, your brain turns into a crazy storyteller every night. So, buckle up, we're diving into the strangest, funniest, and most mind-blowing facts about dreams. What happens in your brain when you dream? Your brain at night is like a DJ at a wild party, mixing up memories, emotions, and pure nonsense. While you sleep, different brain parts take turns running the show. The amygdala, your emotional center, goes into overdrive, which is why dreams feel so intense. Meanwhile, the prefrontal cortex, responsible for logic, takes a nap, explaining why flying a purple giraffe seems totally normal. Scientists believe dreams help with problem solving and memory storage, like your brain's way of cleaning up old files. So next time you dream about dancing with a toaster, just know it's all part of the process. The science of REM sleep, the dream factory. Imagine your brain as a movie studio and REM, rapid eye movement. Sleep is when the cameras start rolling. First discovered in 1953, REM sleep is the stage where your brain goes into hyperdrive, creating the wildest dreams. Your eyes dart around, your heartbeat speeds up, and your brain activity mimics wakefulness. Yet, you're completely asleep. During this stage, your brain sorts memories, solves problems, and sometimes, just throws in a random flying elephant for fun. Without random sleep, you feel groggy and forgetful. So, next time you wake up confused about dreaming of singing pineapples, thank Ram. It's just doing its job. Are dreams just random thoughts? Ever dreamt about racing a turtle in Times Square and wondered, what does that even mean? Some scientists argue that dreams are just random brain signals, while others believe they hold hidden meanings. Your brain pulls bits of memories, emotions, and subconscious thoughts to create a bizarre late-night movie. The Activation Synthesis Theory, proposed in 1977 by J. Allen Hobson and Robert McCarley, suggests that dreams are just your brain making sense of random neural activity. But psychologists like Sigmund Freud believed dreams reveal deep desires, so maybe that turtle race means you're secretly competitive. Either way, whether dreams are meaningful or just mental junk, they sure keep things interesting. Can dreams predict the future? Ever dreamt about missing a flight, only to actually miss one the next day? Spooky, right? Many people believe in prophetic dreams, where the brain seems to glimpse the future. Even historical figures like Abraham Lincoln reportedly dreamt about his assassination. Scientists, however, argue it's just coincidence and subconscious awareness. Your brain constantly picks up small details you don't notice while awake, then pieces them together in dreams, making it feel like a psychic moment. So, are dreams secret fortune tellers or just your brain playing detective? Either way, if you dream about winning the lottery, maybe buy a ticket, just in case. Why do we have nightmares? Ever woken up sweating after being chased by a giant talking banana? Nightmares are like the horror movies of your brain except you didn't buy a ticket. They usually happen during REM sleep and are triggered by stress, anxiety, or even spicy food. Yes, that late night taco might be to blame. Scientists believe nightmares help us process fears and emotions, kind of like a mental training session for real life challenges. 
Some studies even show that kids have more nightmares because their brains are still learning to handle fear. So, next time you wake up from a zombie apocalypse dream, just remember, it's your brain's weird way of keeping you prepared. Funny dream stories that will make you laugh. Dreams can be terrifying, but sometimes they're just plain ridiculous. Like the guy who dreamt he was a celebrity chef for penguins, or the woman who kept having a dream where she was arguing with a toaster about politics. One of the weirdest recorded dreams comes from Thomas Edison, who claimed he dreamt up new inventions in his sleep. Meanwhile, Salvador Dali used dreams to inspire his surreal paintings, because where else would you get the idea of melting clocks? The brain is a stand-up comedian at night, mixing up random thoughts, memories, and pure nonsense. So, if you wake up laughing from a dream about dance and jelly beans, just enjoy the show. Your brain is a creative genius. Can we control our dreams? Welcome to lucid dreaming. Ever wished you could fly like Superman, explore Mars, or eat infinite pizza, all in a dream? Well, with lucid dreaming you can. It's when you become aware that you're dreaming and can even control what happens. Sounds cool, right? The term lucid dreaming was coined by Frederick van Eden in 1913, but ancient cultures like Tibetan Buddhists have practiced it for centuries. Scientists say it happens when the prefrontal cortex, the part of your brain responsible for logic, stays partially awake during REM sleep. Some people naturally lucid dream, while others train themselves using techniques like reality checks, keeping a dream journal, and meditation. So, if you've ever wanted to ride a unicorn through New York, now's your chance. Just learn to take control of your dreams. From flying on giant cupcakes to conversing with pineapples, dreams are one of the most fascinating mysteries of the human mind. Whether they're simply random brain activity, a way to process emotions, or secret glimpses into the future, they've captivated us for centuries. REM sleep, lucid dreaming, and nightmares all play their parts in this nighttime adventure, offering us a glimpse into the endless creativity of our subconscious. In REM sleep, our brains become incredibly active, creating vivid dreams that sometimes feel more real than reality. Lucid dreaming lets us control these dreams, while nightmares force us to confront our deepest fears. Dreams can be a reflection of our emotions or even a result of our brain's attempt to process daily events. They can help us work through our anxieties, fears, and unresolved issues. Some even believe that dreams can offer clues or insights into our waking lives, guiding us toward important realizations. Yet, despite all the research and theories, dreams remain a mystery. How do we dream? Why do we dream the things we do? Can dreams hold meaning beyond what our conscious minds can comprehend? Even in this modern age of scientific discovery, these questions continue to intrigue us. Are dreams simply a byproduct of the brain's efforts to tidy up memories, or do they serve a deeper psychological purpose? Whether they are fantastical adventures or nightmares, dreams open a window into the subconscious mind that is both creative and emotional. It's through dreams that we sometimes process emotions we might not even realize we're carrying during the day. The fact that every night we slip into an alternate reality, where anything is possible, reminds us of the limitless potential of the mind. Our dreams can be absurd, terrifying, joyful, or inspiring, but they are always personal and meaningful in their own way. In fact, the act of dreaming itself is an incredible phenomenon. It's like our minds are playing a never-ending game of imagination, where the rules are as wild as they are unknown. Even though we may not always remember our dreams, they are constantly working behind the scenes, offering new perspectives, strange encounters, and emotional catharsis. They give us a chance to escape reality, if only for a brief moment, and immerse ourselves in an experience where the usual constraints of life no longer apply.